Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for a creative sim. So today we are recreating the Burb family, which is kind of a familiar, I guess you will not, I wouldn't really say iconic family in The Sims games, but specifically in The Sims 2, this is the family that I'm recreating. You see Jennifer and um, her family throughout previous generations of the game, like The Sims 1 and The Sims 3 and all of that. But anyways, this family consists of John Burb, his wife Jennifer Burb, and their daughter Lucy Burb. And they are in the family bin of The Sims 2 game. And a little bit about them is their family description said that they decided to leave the city life, the fast-paced city life, and move to the suburbs. And they, you know, they hope to, you know, make a life for themselves here. So obviously, it's pleasant view at the time. But if you wanted to download them from the gallery and hop them into your Sims 4 game, that's fine. But a little bit about John. So, um. His parents, apparently, I think, according to, like, Sims Wiki, from what I gathered, they might be from the suburbs or maybe the country or the outdoor. I mean, out the outdoors. I mean, the whole world is the outdoors. Like, what? <laughs> but anyways, he misses the time he spent in his parents' garden and wants to carry on the tradition. So... He wears a black jacket over a brown shirt, khaki pants, and has neat brown hair. So, I didn't, like, try to make them exactly like their Sims 2 versions. I kind of gave them a little glow over. But, overall, I think I got his style pretty much down to a T. And I think he is a really handsome Sim. But, when you hop into the gameplay, you'll see that he's a very family-oriented Sim. <laughs> he just wants to be, like, a really good dad. He wants to help Lucy with her homework. And you can tell he absolutely adores his wife, which in my Sims 2 series, Pleasant View, I actually had him have an affair with Dina. And I feel, like, really bad about it because that's not him at all. He's actually a very family-oriented Sim. So, I mean, my bad, John. I just gave you a very bad uh, <laughs> reputation, but... Anyways, moving on to his wife, Jennifer. So, Jennifer is actually the sister of Daniel Pleasant, which I always thought was really weird because, as we know, Daniel has, like, red hair. and He's very light-complected. And then Jennifer is tan, and you'll kind of see me mess with her skin tone, go back and forth, because I couldn't tell if she was just tan or just, like dark complex you know dark complected so i do change her skin tone a few times and i think i got it pretty similar to her in the sims generation she's always been very dark complected and apparently she gets that from hers and daniel's mom i thought maybe that she was um, adopted but i don't think she is i couldn't find that information but <clears throat> in previous generations of the game she was actually very athletic and wanted to be like a soccer superstar or something but in the sims 2 she's actually way more feminine she's dropped her dreams of being a soccer superstar and she has great interest in fashion and clothing design she has the fortune aspiration so she wants to be wealthy so i gave her that aspiration in the sims 4 i do believe i kind of made her uh, materialistic for that reason and a snob <laughs> So, yeah, I kept her active trait because even though she doesn't want to be a superstar in this version of who she is in The Sims that I'm recreating, I do imagine that she is, you know, very fit and wants to look, you know, healthy and be healthy. So, I did keep her, give her the active aspiration as well. But, <clears throat> y'all, I've been doing voiceovers all day. I'm running out of breath, so bear with me. But, anyways, I think Jennifer is so pretty. I love her skin tone. I love her black curly hair. And yeah, that's kind of, I tried to go with like their same style, like I said. So I did give her like a skirt and a tank top because that's what she wears in The Sims too. But anyways, nonetheless, that is she. Um, I do believe that her being like very materialistic and kind of like snobbish, she's kind of selfish in a way. And I almost gave her the self-absorbed trait, whereas her husband John is just very loving and family oriented. I do believe that she loves her husband and she loves her daughter, but at the same time, she can be a little bit selfish and all about her. That's just the vibe that I get. 
But anyways, they do have a little girl named Lucy Burb. And I think she is the cutest little girl. She's so cute. But anyways, in The Sims 2, she wears a yellow dress and her hair is pulled back into a bun tied with a ribbon. But in my version of her in The Sims 4, of course, I went crazy with the CC. And I gave her these cute little buns on the side of her head because her hair was like originally slicked back but anyways I thought those buns were so cute and I love to make my sim snaggle tooth like my little children snaggle tooth I just think it's so cute but anyway she is as precious in the sims 4 version as she is in the sims 2 but anyways um apparently she is a little bit mischievous but she's very cute and friendly, and that often gets her out of trouble. And she's a very good student and close to getting an A-plus when the game begins. So, yeah, I definitely see her and her dad just being really close. And I guess her mom, too. I don't know. I just feel like Jennifer, like I said, is just kind of a little bit self-absorbed. And I don't know. Does anybody else get that a vibe, or is that just me? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of my recreation of the Burb family? If you want to download them, they are available for download on the gallery, but they do include a ton of CC, so make sure you have that checked. If you're interested in any of my CC, go look in the description box. You'll see my Tumblr, which I reblog pretty much every day. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of CC on there, and you can probably find anything you're looking for. Anything specific that you want to see, comment down below, and I'll do my best to find it for you. But anyways hope you guys enjoyed this creative sim if you want to see me recreate different sims from the sims 2 or sims 3 let me know and i will try to do that for you but thank you guys for watching love y'all and i'll talk to you later bye